Although it does state that you can use this product for a twist down, I'm going to use it for a wash and go in this video. Maybe at a later time I will use it as a twist and go, but just want a twist and go. A twist and go? That might be something. to my channel thanks so much for tuning in for another video for today's video i'm going to be doing a wash and go using a new product so it wasn't until tgin released their new product that i realized that i have not done a wash and go video in a very long time i think the last one was the talia wahid or wajid um one and done and i don't think i've done one since then so this was actually the perfect timing to do a wash and go because it's wash day and it's just time to do a wash and go and i'm just excited about doing a wash and go using the product from tgin so they released two products one is a honey curls custard and the other one is a styling mousse it's a honey um styling mousse i forgot what the name of it was but anyway they're available at ulta but unfortunately ulta only had the custard and it did not have the mousse so i'm only going to be using just the one product today so let me show you what i got so i purchased the tgin honey curls custard with raw honey and agave nectar this product is for smooth and shiny twist outs and long lasting curl definition these are the ingredients that are in the product so if you want to pause the screen to read it feel free to do so this product comes in a 12 ounce jar so looking at the consistency of this product it looks very jelly very jiggly it has this bubbly beady texture look to it it looks like there's a little bit of separation in the product as if you're trying to cocktail products that just didn't mix that's what it kind of looks like to me the scent of this product kind of falls in line with the scent of most of the tgin products so it has a really nice pleasant smell so it says for maximum shine and softness this can be paired with the buttercream moisturizer unfortunately i don't have any more of the buttercream moisturizer so i'm going to use the miracle repair uh, curl food um, this is with black honey and coconut oil so I'm going to pair it with this to use as a moisturizing base for my hair and then I'll apply the custard. So I paired the curl food with the custard just to see if these two products blend together um, just to kind of do like a cocktail to see how they react to each other and it did really good. It didn't leave any um, white beading or curdling or anything like that with these two products so they pair very well together. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to wash my hair off camera using the Miracle Repair RX moisturizing shampoo and then when I get back on camera I'm going to jump right into doing the wash and go using this honey curls custard. So I'm very excited of how this is going to react on my hair so I hope I have a really great turnout. So without further ado let's get started. give you my final thoughts on this honey curls custard so this is probably the softest juiciest most most moisturized wash and go i think i've ever 
done this this custard this has a very soft hole it is extremely moisturizing extremely moisturizing i mean the moisture the juiciness of my hair the shine the curl definition it looks so good i don't know how well this camera is doing it justice it's probably not but in person my hair is very bouncy it's very fluffy it's very moisturized it's just it has body has movement it's not weighing down my hair at all this is not an elongating gel by far this is nowhere near elongating this is just a soft hold gel a very moisturizing gel i doubt i'm gonna get a hard cast or any type of cast at all to be quite honest um this product is actually very reminiscent of their curl balm moisturizing style gel only difference is this one is just a little looser in the consistency it's a little i guess thinner in the consistency it's not as thick as the curl balm so it's very reminiscent of that but this is this is this is the best wash and go well i say it's a semi wash and go because i put two twists right here so it's a semi wash and go but i really really like this like i have bounce and body and movement and i get my my hair is super 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 soft right now it is so hydrated so moisturized this this feels good this feels good it looks good i'm not really sure which one is giving me more life this curl food or this or this curling custard but both of these combined oh my god i definitely give this product two big old thumbs up because the moisture is crazy the curl definition crazy the softness crazy it is absolutely insane the moisture from this curl custard wow And of course, the shrinkage is definitely real. So again, this is not an elongating product. My hair, of course, does shrink really, really bad, but that's okay. That's okay. So that is my final review of this curl custard, this honey curls custard from TGIN. I highly recommend it. It is a product I would repurchase again. I'm pretty versed in TGIN products, especially their gels um, that I've used so far. And if this is anything similar to, which it is, I, I feel similar to the moisturizing curl balm, I didn't get any flakage. I did not. I did not get a hard cast. It was very moisturizing and very softening on my hair. So I feel like I'm gonna get the same outcome with this once my hair dries. Once my hair dries, I'm gonna just fluff it out, pick it out. I'm not gonna touch it right now. I'm just gonna let this air dry because I don't want it to be all frizzy and, and messed up. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like watching, seeing my review and my demo and just my thoughts, final thoughts on this uh, Honey Curls Custard. I don't know why I can't say it right. Honey Curls Custard. So as normal, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. It's just Janine. Bye, guys.